what I've taken for granted. Good morning, team. Thanks for checking in for the next Kilograms Kilometers podcast. We are wrapping up our week of physical readiness. And something that I've kind of taken for granted over the last few years, but uh, it definitely seems to be popping up more and more, is the idea around doing your doing your quick, your powerful, your explosive work at the beginning of the workout. Uh, more and more athletes that I've, I've spoken to recently, you know, they're sharing their workouts and, and it, it's not about here's what you should be doing. It's, hey, what are you doing right now? And let's then, you know, let's, let's see if we can make some modifications there before we kind of dive into a whole new thing. More and more workouts that I'm seeing, you know, start out with maybe some smaller movement stuff or they start out with some big movements, then go to auxiliary and then come back to uh, to power or, or speed or explosive movements. And I've kind of taken it for granted because we always, for most of our team athletes, especially where speed, power, explosiveness is a pivotal part of their performance, we always do that at the beginning of the workout to make sure that they're fresh, that they're, they're more focused, there's better active, fresh activation, uh, and that Um, that you're not doing it under fatigue so that's if if getting quicker getting faster is ultimately your goal then make sure you're doing that stuff at the very beginning right as as we often say eat your vegetables first right put your top priority at the top um you know that being said just as a caveat there are some times to where doing you know, doing some quick explosive stuff at the end might be beneficial, or maybe that's part of the program. Uh, but how you do it, you're not probably not going to go full out. You're not going to be working, you know, 80, 90 percent. Uh, it's it's going to be more of a, a conditioning component. But you just got to understand that that if if speed, speed, power, and explosiveness is the goal, then put it at the top. All right, we can't. We can't do it at the end when we're under fatigue and then expect to be getting that response out of that training. So the order in which you do it, you know, we talked earlier this week about the the recipe, about the the structure of our workouts, kind of how we do it. Um, So that's just part of it, right? You want to make sure that that, the the order of the workout aligns with what the, the ultimate goal is. So if you have any other questions about that, curious about how to fix it best for you, hit us up, let us know. We're always happy to get a, a 15 minute strategy session. Uh, it doesn't even have to be 15 minutes, sometimes five or 10, but we'll get on the phone. We'll chat about how things are going, what's going well, what can be, what you feel can be better and what advice we can offer to help you get there. So have a great day. Have a great weekend. Let's keep working.